Hi, I'm Stuart from Big Game Hunters Sports Ball Shop. How much air can a football lose before it's deemed as faulty? Now we've done a test this week on the Mitre Ultimatch Max. It's a FIFA quality approved football and this would have had to go through stringent tests. Now one of those tests has to pass is to be inflated to the correct PSI. It's then left for 72 hours and during that time, uh, or after that period of 72 hours, uh, the tester would then go back and measure the PSI. So we've done the same experiment. And the temperature here is a little bit cooler than it should be as we're shooting the video on the uh, last day of February. Uh, I think the temperature is about seven, maybe eight degrees. Uh, but I have inflated the ball to nine PSI. And the ball recommends to be inflated to between seven and 10. Let me just see if I can get that in focus. There we go. So I've inflated the ball. We're going to come back in 72 hours and we'll see if it's lost any air and if so, what percentage of air it has lost. Hi, welcome back. It's now three days on, 72 hours. In fact, it's uh, 79 hours since uh, we inflated the Mitre Ultimatch Max ball. If you remember, we inflated it to 9 PSI. We're now here to test uh, what PSI the ball is, if it's still at 9 or if it has lost any air. And then we can see there, I think that is just under 9. Well, it's just above that, 8.3 8 PSI. Okay, so is that ball faulty? Well, no, clearly. It's still playable, it's still within the uh, recommended PSI range of 7 to 10, so it's perfectly fine. So I went on the FIFA uh, quality programme to find out uh, what the rules and regulations are. Now this ball is a FIFA quality ball, and to still meet approval, it could lose up to 25% of its air and still pass the test. So what does that mean? Well, if I inflated that to 10 PSI, if it lost 25%, if it was still reading 7.5 PSI, then the ball's fine. It would be approved. Likewise, a FIFA quality pro balls, the um, variations between, or the band between the uh, PSIs printed on the ball, this one's 7 to 10. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the uh, bands on the FIFA quality pro balls are 8 to 9, so it's a little bit tighter. But if we inflated that to 9 PSI, uh, it can lose up to 20%. If it was reading 7.2, it would still pass the test. The IMS balls, international match standard, they're able to lose 25% also. And so a ball that you inflate to 10, if it dropped to 7.5 PSI in the three days, is still approved. So the IMS International Match Standard and the FIFA Quality Balls can lose up to 25% of their PSI over a 72-hour period, and they would still pass the FIFA Quality Programme. So therefore, the ball isn't faulty. The FIFA Quality Pro Ball uh, can only lose 20% because obviously they're a higher uh, quality and the criteria is a little bit more stringent. If you have a training ball that loses more than 25 percent i would suggest that uh, you just keep inflating it if it's losing more than 50 percent then maybe you might have an issue now one way you can check if you've got an issue there's possibly a little blockage in the valve uh, in the little valve hole um, occasionally when you're using it out on the pitch and a bit of mud maybe gets into the valve hole you can clear this with a little drop of glycerin put it into the mouth of the valve, get your needle, this is uh, just a needle on a pressure gauge, just is insert it carefully into the ball and out, back in again, maybe add another drop of glycerin into the top of the ball, push it in and out, and then hopefully your valve is now clear 
and so you shouldn't then be losing the uh, ball pressure that you are on your training ball and that's the way to unblock the valve so if you are losing 50 percent or more having used the ball it's probably something to do with the valve and not a faulty ball i hope you found that information useful i know i did i didn't realize that a ball could lose up to 25 percent and still be approved it's quite interesting to find out uh, I've got lots more technical data to read through on the FIFA quality program to be fully informed, uh, but maybe I'll leave that for another day. If you enjoyed the video, why not hit the subscribe button and click the like button too. If you've got any comments on these footballs, ball pressure, they think football related, to be honest, why not leave a comment in the box below? If you're enjoying the videos, leave a comment, give me the thumbs up. It does inspire me to keep making more and more of the videos for you. Until next time. Bye-bye.